The Hamilton County prosecutor says no charges will be filed against the Wyoming police officers in the officer-involved shooting of Joe Frazier. Officers shot Frazier during a they shot Joe Frazier. They shot Joe Frazier. I mean, I'm a big, I'm a big fan. I'm a big <laughs> fan. <laughs> you can't shoot Joe Frazier. Come on, man. Wow. Of shooting of Joe Frazier. Officers shot Frazier during a burglary call early Monday morning. Genesis Narrows has followed developments in the case this week, and she joins us with a look at the newly released body camera video. Jenna. Paula, Hamilton County Prosecutor Melissa Powers believes officers' lives were saved because they opened fire. A key piece of information coming out this afternoon is the video from body cameras worn by officers. What started out as Joe Frazier Jr. Uh -oh. and his father working to clean out their deceased grandmother's condemned apartment unit on Durrell Avenue early Monday morning turned deadly. Which apartment was it? Officers responded to the scene for a report of a burglary. Those officers encountered the Frasers and ordered them to stop and put their hands in the air. The Frasier. Wait yeah. a minute, he was, clean, he was cleaning out his own grandmother's... But the neighbors called the police, the police showed up with... Listen, man, if I'm a neighbor, listen, like I said, I can tell you, I, there's, there's houses on my block where people have moved out, right? And their shit is still in there. And I know them... But I don't know their brother. I don't know their son. I don't know their, you know what I'm saying? So some guys over there moving, taking shit out the back, I might call the police. But, but is this a glider who resisted, who, who refused to obey commands and resisted? Well, let's, let's be, let's be honest. I, it's kind of dark. They probably thought he was a son, right? Yeah. I'm not sure where that road is either. It might be in Cheyenne or some other town. Officers responded to the scene. Right it's Hamilton County. Rail Avenue early Monday morning turned deadly. Which apartment was it? Officers responded to the scene for a report of a burglary. Those officers encountered the Frasers and ordered them to stop and put their hands in the air. The Frasers refused commands. The video goes on to show Joe Frazier Jr. attempting to drive off in a minivan again with an. Okay, so. Wow, it's that's that. The gliders are acting like that now, too. <laughs> Holy. Wow, man. Like, I, right. I just don't get it. Did he have a warrant? He might have had a warrant. No, it's, it, it's just spreading. It's spreading. It's, <laughs> like, it's, like, it's, it's cultural appropriation, man. <laughs> It's called, right? You have all the great rappers, then you have Eminem, right? Cultural appropriation. <laughs> That's what this is. These are the Eminem or vanilla, you know, vanilla the, ice. The, the Elvises of, of the world. No, yeah, exactly. You know, it's like it's bound to start happening. And the good news is you can shoot these guys and get away with it as a cop. You're good. Well, I, mean, I mean, it's it's not even, oh, yeah, this guy, yeah, because he's, he's white. Yeah, there'll be no, yeah. But but this is this is just bizarre behavior, man. It has to be something else that explains. Maybe he had drugs on them. I just don't understand why this is the response. Hey, man, we're um cleaning out my our my. Hey, how you doing, officers? How you guys doing? Um, uh, did someone call? Um, okay, well, yeah, yeah, we got a call. It wouldn't even have to see me. It wouldn't even have to get nowhere to even where anything was like tense it would just be like they would have been like hey guys and i'm like what's up I'm like um yeah we got a call that is about a burglary oh oh hey um let me tell you where my mom lives here da, 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 da. we're cleaning out her, her what you place da, da, da. they came over and be like um well um we got to straighten this out um you know da, 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 da. um they have been like um if it was depending check, on the check, they might check yeah. your ID. And that would be oh, better. definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. But depending on the state, they may have asked me to, you know, pat me down to see if I had a weapon or something like that, just for their comfort. Um, or they would have just been like, um, "Let me, see, look, can I see your ID?" They would written took my ID, written my name down, or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. They'd have made a couple of calls over the over the thing. Blah, blah, blah. They said, "What's your mom's name?" Blah, blah, blah. 
Boom, boom, they would have said, uh, it would have probably taken, you know, some time. It would have probably inconvenienced us for some time. We've been out there standing with the police looking crazy. But there's no Hamilton County in Wyoming. This is in Ohio, is what. Uh, oh, this is Ohio. Oh, okay. But, so, but I, where, where's the fun and everything you just said, though? I, okay, it makes more sense, though. But hey. Well, it okay. doesn't change anything. It's still really odd behavior. Yeah, it is still gliders, so. Mans. The video goes on to show Joe Frazier Jr. attempting to drive off in a minivan, again with an officer screaming to stop and telling him to get out of the car. Stop! Get out of the car now! The headlights. Like at this point, this is, a, you, you, this is a weapon, and yeah, he doesn't have to stand in front of you. Yes, he can move. And let you go but that's not what they're trained to do because if you take this car and you go out in that street you mow down somebody or t-bone somebody you know what i'm saying so it's like now you're you're dead right here man if you fucking if you do not even if you don't hit the gas if you yeah, there's probably don't. some method whose granny is sick and they wanted to go over there and, and get all the good shit before anybody else did. Yeah, get all the meds and the copper. Yep. So the, the one officer that is running is see, has those headlights coming straight at him on the body-worn camera, so you can see that it's coming in his direction. Whether he was driving and intentionally to run the officers over or whether he was trying to flee, it it really, we will never know that answer for sure. But what we do know is that the officers' lives were threatened and they felt in danger. Two officers fired four shots, hitting the minivan and Frazier Jr. Power says they fired the shots in self-defense. As you could see from the video, our officers made every attempt to back away. They are in a very confined space. It's hard to see on the video, but they are between two apartment buildings. And Mr. Frazier drove up an embankment at an erratic rate towards the officers. They had little area that they could move to. Um, so I am strongly confident that they did. Don't worry about it, babe. It ain't, they, <laughs> this is, you ain't got to worry. You don't have, have to explain. explain you don't have to explain it away. <laughs> it's a glider. Don't worry about it. There ain't going to be no marches. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, there's no rush anything. on the paperwork, right. none they're of that. Not, they're not going to have a committee appointed to fire everybody at the yeah. police department. No, 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 fuck that. Burn it down. No, the they're, pro they're, pro they're probably going to get, they're probably, everybody's going to get a medal and a promotion on this one. So don't worry yeah. about it, man. The president is not going to condemn the officer's actions. <laughs> uh, somehow this was racism as well, though. Yeah. Somehow. Oh yeah, because the you know, because you know, um, oh, it was white on white. That's like racist times five. Yeah, they 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 can spin it. We well, I mean, if the Memphis was racist on fucking, this is too. We could spin this though. We could definitely spin this to make it a racist thing, man. Did everything they could and acted appropriately given the circumstances. While Powers says lethal force was appropriately used, she says the situation could have easily been avoided. All they had to do was to stop, comply, and explain. I'm here. This is my grandmother's apartment. We're here to help my sister, whatever it may be. But the officers that night, when they made those decisions in that, in that situation, did not know any of that information. And they did not know who those two individuals were. And they did not know whether or not they were armed or dangerous. But by their, that behavior of Frazier Jr., he clearly was dangerous and put those officers' lives in, in danger. Power says the city of Wyoming prevented anyone from living oh, in that building, and people are only allowed to get stuff out of the building during the day. Per standard procedure, the three officers involved are on paid administrative leave, and counseling will be provided to them. Paula? Thank you, Jenna. They're, Power they're getting, says both father counseling. and son had outstanding warrants. Frazier Jr. Both father and son. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. That's why. Paula? Thank you, Jenna. Power says both father and son had outstanding warrants. Frazier Jr. was on probation in Indiana for felony battery with a victim who was under 14. He was also on parole in Kentucky after getting caught making meth. Frazier Sr. had a warrant for his arrest for a theft from December. Told you. <laughs> 
some 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 oh, fucking no my so tweaker method, some method <laughs> tweaker gliders. They didn't even you know what they didn't even have to explain it. They didn't even have to waste time having a news article about it. They could have just like just done it. Man, too, and they would have excused it all. They just took out the trash, man. That's all. Oh yeah. Oh, agreed. It, it ain't no. You're not gonna find white people pining for this guy. That's right. You know. That's right. Like, notice that there's no march. You know, it's like, yeah. Yeah. It, it's just you can't. Y'all, are, no, y'all can't. Normally, you you'll see a family member. And they'll be like, "Oh yeah, he was—he was a piece of shit. He was going down yeah, a bad road." We don't—we we don't have our version of Ben Crump, you know. <laughs> He's like, you know. <laughs> and all there is is some sad meth head in a trailer park who lost her 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 next fix with a couple of kids. <laughs> it's the only victims here. Yeah, it's it's um. It, it... That police department definitely does not have a uh, civilian committee reviewing it. No. This is this is this thing is done. I mean, it's a wrap. You don't have to worry about hearing it again. Everybody needs to keep their jobs. Everybody gets to go home happy. There's no. There'll be. I mean, literally, like those guys are at home right now. Like sleeping like babies. If this guy was black, those guys would be fucking taking out wills and shit and fucking, um, like, I mean, like making bucket lists. That's this that city, is, that city would be on fire right now. The cops would be charged. Yeah, this is this is this is this is um, this is good, man. Everybody's everybody's cool, man. There's nothing. There's nothing to worry about. Um, nothing to see here. Let's move on. And not, not for nothing, we do have murders here. We had uh, a 28% increase a couple of years ago. Went from 14 to 18. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we had 21 last year. Who had 21? The whole You're state of about, Wyoming. Oh, the whole state of Wyoming. Yeah, I mean... Listen, man, if Wyoming was 10% sun, y'all would have had in a state. Oh, my God. What's y'all have, like a million people there? Uh, 560,000. Yeah. You but but don't, don't, murders last year. but don't worry, Bill. It, it'll come. Yeah. It, nah, but the weather out there, man. Now nah, the weather's too extreme, he said. It's 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 cold. What was it? A hundred, nine minus twenty seven the other day? You said Um yeah, but that the coldest it got this year was like minus fifty six. Yeah, man. I don't know. I I mean look at look at Buffalo, New York. Nah, they I have know. like a fucking blizzard well, every true. fucking that's true. That's true. But, look uh, look, Bill, look, Bill, you just sit tight, all right? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. It's my charming personality that keeps everybody away. <laughs> and Bill, I don't mean to be rude. I'm sorry. You know, you know, there used to be there used to be a, a chain of hamburger joints in New York called Jackson Hole. Wow. My family. I was actually born in New York. <laughs> mm. My and family's had, from back east. And they had the best burgers. Absolute best burgers. Oh yeah. It's a different kind of New York where I'm from, and they're from the Finger Lakes region. Oh, that, well, that the main industry up there are the are the prisons. It's like uh, it's between like, that grape vineyards, potato farms. Yeah, it's like it's and, like New uh, York. New York supports the entire economy of New York State because up in, uh, in all over. Oh, over Elmira, State, all over there. They've got they all kinds have of these prisons. huge supermax prisons. Mm. Mm. Let's let's um see. Let's do the main event, man. Let's see. Yeah, um, I was up in Albion the uh, a couple of years ago. Albion's got a huge prison up there in upstate New York. Um, they 
Yeah, and all the people there worked for the for, for the jail, for the prison. Everybody, the everybody, everybody in the area works for the jail, and everybody in the jail is from New York. Yeah. It's, yeah, um, it's all dairy farms and grape vineyards up where we're from. And then, like I say, Elmira.